This goes all the way back to when I was born and before I was born, actually. I started with my music when I was a little kid. Because my mom is a professional musician. My, both my friends are musicians. He would teach lessons inside of our home as I was a baby and growing up. So I was born in a house called Full of Music. Am I a full-time artist? Um, yeah, I'm a full-time artist. But he can connect with music. It's the universal language. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Um, with music, I really started off at a young age. I started playing the piano and just picking things up by ear. Um, I started playing guitar, and then when I was around 12, I switched to bass. Well, I like the Guitar Hero video game. So I'm going to try and be a Guitar Hero in real life with a real instrument. I was living with some friends at the time, and their father had an acoustic guitar. And I thought it would be cool to play it. So I picked it up, and here we are. Gabi and I, we met at a show. And I was really trying to connect with other female musicians at the time. And so we just kind of connected on that level. Yeah, we were both just looking for more female musicians' presence in the industry, especially in jazz and in the general. We do play together. We decided to just go out and start sharing our music on the street. So Baskin gave us that opportunity to not only connect between musicians, but also to you know, be able to express and show the art. The freedom has kept me doing busking. Any musician can be walking on the street, they can see you and they can just grab their saxophone and get there and play. Um, I personally think that streets are one of the most beautiful places we humans have to share experiences on. I love the freedom of playing out here. I play whatever I want, whenever I want, can quit whenever I want. I define myself as like, um, the intermediate person between the art and the society and the community. I guess I'm a musician, I guess I'm an artist. I don't really know what the word is for what I do. I don't like to look at it as a, as a job, it's more of a, a hobby. So I'm there to, as a figure to share the art on the streets. Someone who inspires find their own voice and identity within who they are, within what I'm doing, and someone who can really bring people together through the music that I'm playing. So I try and do that through whatever creative passions I pursue. Before performing, I think the biggest thing for preparation you need is the ability to know that the art and the music that you're producing is valid and worthy. The energy that you come with as a performer, because it's very vulnerable. I like to, you know, not strictly meditate for the band, but just meditation in my life brings me uh, a feeling that I can do it. I mean, of course, practice and, you know, fluidity in your instrument, but that's always something that as musicians we are always working on. Once I realize, oh, I'm doing this for everybody else, I'm not doing this for me. You know, just breathe in and out, and all of a sudden I feel okay. The first half of busking, in your mind you're thinking, this sucks, because I've made no money and I've seen none of my friends. And then the second half of busking is really great, because you're thinking, oh wow, I've made a lot of money and I've seen all my friends. It's it's so much fun just to see everyone having a good time, whether it be playing or, or singing along or dancing. I just try to open my ears, uh, just try to listen to my fellow musicians, and again, just also trying to feel the energies that are on the streets and try to feel what people want to listen to. The feelings, once I'm done busking, are just through the roof, sky high, I'm on cloud nine. Before busking, I'm nervous. I even have a little bit of butterflies in my stomach. I don't get that nervous compared to when I started, but you never quite lose that excitement and anticipation for the performance. I feel super happy. It's 
it's a super joyful experience. It's like working out for me. It just gives me that happiness that I just got to share that experience with musicians and with the people on the streets. Just um, spreading music and sharing love with my community. In my head, I want to play for a stadium full of thousands of people. But I, I'm not upset with the fact that we're playing on the street because I know this is the process. There is a big difference between just busking and specifically doing music while busking. I'm just trying to actually be uh, energetically positive and abundant and actually bring good vibes to the street. Well, I think the biggest difference between busking and playing a gig is busking, you kind of just show up and you kind of see what comes out of it. There's not really a whole bunch of planning around it, but it's kind of like the beauty of just pure improvisation. For me, mainly, you know, goes through just having fun and just getting to jam with different people. Getting to collaborate with different people um, coming from all different kinds of backgrounds. Well, music makes that easy because everybody can connect with music. It's the universal language. You cannot be alone when you're in that environment, so that was a very memorable time for me in my life. Basket means means a lot to me. Basket means a lot of fun mainly. Stage, you know, you just get to share and you everyone's so open minded. No one cares about your musicianship level as long as you're just there to share it. I guess I'm more of just a preacher. I try to play through my axe, my guitar, and then bring joy and love and whatever I can bring to people's days on the street. Because you have people who are non-musicians or other musicians who even sometimes come and join in. But it's really just a great time to see people connect with your music and dance on the street. And if that connection gets lost, um, I feel there's not really a reason to be there out on the streets. If we kind of, if as musicians as, and as creators, we kind of really connect with what's going on around us. Um, I feel there's a lack of purpose. Um, I think the most important connection between music and basking is, is that connection with the people that are on the streets. The sense of community that it brings together. And with the musicians you're playing. And if that connection gets lost, um, I feel there's not really a reason to be there out on the streets. And there definitely have been points in my career where I have felt like I wanted to quit. I don't know if quit is the word, but definitely just, you know. Not because it's I don't love the music. It's a moment where burnout, frustration, uh, just feeling that you're not really, you know, getting anywhere. Because being a musician, it's so much mental, um, mental anguish sometimes with just feeling like you're not good enough. I think that as, as an artist, we, we're always thinking about our end goal and why we're really doing it. It's just beautiful to, you know, work past that burnout and just end up seeing some results. As musicians, sometimes we get so caught up with um, just self-deprecation. I think one of the most beautiful things about basking is that people are not really judging. People are not really measuring how good of a musician you are or you're not. You're never too old, you're never too young. Get out there, um, have fun, and basking is a great opportunity to start feeling more confident on stage. Everyone brings so much um, to the table just as individuals and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you're a pro. You know, the streets are beautiful. Just go out there and do it because I think you'll surprise yourself and see how much fun it is. The colors be red The smiles be red Anything that makes me want to quit? Absolutely not. Not in a million years. I would never quit because it's my whole life. But music is foundational for me. It, you could not, I just cannot even fathom what could even happen to me. Even if my arms got cut off, I'd probably learn how to play with my feet, literally, because I've seen people play guitar with their feet, so. Do I want to quit? If I, if I quit, then what am I? I'm not <laughs> I'm nothing with open guitar. I can't quit.
<laughs> we tried to destroy our equipment, you know? That's... Oh, like this?